Hello and welcome to this week's Retro Tech 100 Facebook Pages 20 PRK Challenge. Forgive my shirtless nature again. It is as hot as Satan's butt crack this week. Um, but anyway, I digress. This week we are playing a rather topical game, which is weird for a retro title. We are playing Spider-Man, the video game. And why are we playing this? Well, because A, it was my choice, and B, it's topical, as I mentioned before. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man has been removed from the Marvel Cinematic Universe due to Sony and Marvel having a bit of a disagreement upon revenue share. Yep, good old greed. <clears throat> Sony wanted to keep their 5% market share that they were getting from Spider-Man appearing in the MCU. Disney wanted to go 50-50. And Sony said, no, nah, ski you, buddy. No chance. I want my money. And so... No agreement was made, and therefore Spider-Man will no longer be featured in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Who wins? Not the consumers, not the fans, that's for sure. I'm not a big comic book guy, but I appreciated the movies for what they were, um, and I really enjoyed them. So, um, yeah, very disappointing. Speaking of disappointing, let's get straight to Spider-Man the Video Game, a game released in 1991 by Sega. Now, 1991, of course, is the same year that Streets of Rage blessed the Sega Mega Drive stroke Sega Genesis. And this was two years, two entire years, after Golden Axe was released in the arcade. So you'd expect this to be good, right? You'd expect this to be refined and honed. Nah. First off, Spider-Man looks like a middle-aged man in a suit. It just looks really strange. They look stretched. And the way he moves, he just looks tired. Tired man, tired man, can't be bothered, tired man. Hit a few blokes on the way. But he wants to just sleep today, oh man. Here's the can't be bothered man. Anyway. just gonna pummel our guys here as you notice my health goes down even when I'm not being hit your health is effectively a timer so you've got 400 life points for each credit as per the RetroTech 100 Facebook pages 20 PRK challenge rules I have two credits to get through as much of the game as I possibly can here's Venom We are Venom. We are going to kick his ass. So as you can see, the style and panache of Streets of Rage is... Well, it's nowhere to be seen, is it, really, in this game? And here we go. This is a weird bit as well. We change from a scrolling beat-em-up into a platform section. Unexpected. I'm firing my white goo all over the bad guys. Call me Jimmy Savile in a leotard. Okay, we're making our way. There's the Submariner. Get me venom. Ow. Does some major damage. Let's just clear him out. Okay. So much health, so quickly. And 
down 90 life. I'm not even at the boss yet. My spider sense is tingling. And I'm zooming in to see exactly how shite the next boss is going to be. Ah, oh, there's the first credit. I'm going to stick with Spider-Man. Because none of the other characters really matter, let's be honest. Hawkeye, maybe, but... bad guys left right and center I have no idea who these enemies are supposed to be whether they're part of comic book canon or whether they're just regular lackeys who cares really they are obstacles for me to navigate with my fists it would seem that the effects of the sorcerer's bone have worn off Pummel Venom. The enemies keep continuing to uh, to appear on screen, so there's no point actually hitting the enemies now. Just hit Venom until he loses his bite. There he goes. What the? What the hell was that? Look, there's a middle-aged man. Why do they look so tall, lanky, and cumbersome? Huh. Spider sense tingling, signaling danger. I know he looks like he's taking a turn on that <laughs> on that Let's building. Spider-Man. That's the Green Goblin. Wave. Get rid of this Aladdin looking mofo. thing I will say for this game is it handles a lot of sprites at once. It really shows what the System 16 hardware could do. It's just a shame that it couldn't make a better game really. This game is, is lacking. Severely. Severely lacking. Here comes the lizard. just stuck there until the mandatory time when I can hit him. Down goes Lizard Man. Zoomed out section. Here we go. Uh, 
This can be a problem. Line him up. Oh, can't move. Well, there we go. Made it to Electro. Nearly killed him, but not quite. Well, that's it for my disembodied, decapitated head on the video. That's the end of my game. If you can do any better, which I'm sure you can, this is by no means one of the greatest runs of all time ever in this game. Feel free to jump onto the Retro Tank 100 Facebook page. Put in your score and see how you go. Until then, bye for now.